Hey guys, Shane Sorens with DroidMotorX.com. Last week I covered the Mean Bean ROM, but I don't think I did it justice. I just kind of briefly covered it. And today I want to give you guys a more in-depth ROM review for this Mean Bean. Uh, I really think this is going to do big things on the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. It is currently the most popular stock ROM for the HTC Evo 4G LTE. I really think that it can and will gain as much popularity on our device as well. So before we go any further, I wanted to mention the main goals of this ROM. This ROM is to be a mostly stock ROM, so you're going to have the same look and feel of stock TouchWiz. You're not going to get a ton of tweaks and customization mods that bog the thing down like in AOKP or CM10. Uh, strictly customizations that are going to help with the user experience. And another main goal of this ROM is to improve all of the tweaks under the hood to really give you a better than stock performance. So you're going to have a faster ROM with better battery life and a few custom tweaks to help with the experience. So first we're going to head into system. We'll head into settings and about phone. Uh, you'll see that we are running Android version 4.1.1. We are on the VRALL4 uh, baseband. The build number is MeanBean 1.0, and I'm on the latest version uh, thanks to the over-the-air updater application that's included. As soon as he releases an update, which is about every other day, you're going to get a notification. You can instantly download the update, and it'll automatically install it for you, which is a pretty awesome feature. So you'll see the over-the-air updater app is here. If you deny the update when it comes up, uh, you can always come back here and download it and install it from here as well. So in my mind, one of the top tweaks uh, that has been included in this ROM are the uh, tweaks to the CPU. So what you're going to get, as long as the screen is turned on, you're going to get uh, really excellent performance. You guys can see just how fast this ROM moves. He has tweaked the CPU for full throttle performance as long as the screen's turned on. He's also modified the CPU to be underclocked at 1 gigahertz as long as the screen's turned off. So while your screen is turned off it's just going to barely sip the battery and that's really going to improve your battery life it's already 11:53. i've had this thing unplugged since seven so for the past four hours um, nearly five hours and i'm still at 82 percent which is pretty outstanding um, i've used the phone a lot today as far as checking facebook checking youtube checking gmail checking twitter i've used it quite a bit even some web browsing and uh, the battery life is really holding up so another really cool mod in this ROM is the zero wake lock modification. I haven't seen it on any other ROM. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it for you. Whenever we turn the phone off and back on, you guys see how quickly it turns on. Normally, there's about a half to two second delay whenever you turn your screen on and off. Uh, but the way that he's done this is he's created a weight lock that prevents your phone from going into deep sleep. Now, normally that would be a major battery killer uh, if you disabled deep sleep on your phone but considering the CPU modifications when the screen is turned off it turns off all cores except for one and that one core can only run at a maximum of one gigahertz so this is really saving more battery than if you had deep sleep enabled on your device normally when the screen is turned off you're running at around 200 megahertz which is uh, not really taking any battery away from your phone I mean it's just really slowly sipping the battery um, but it's going to give you enough power for things like notifications if you need those. Those will still come through. One modification that we all love is the native hotspot. If we go into settings and more settings, mobile hotspot, we can simply turn this on and it will work. So we don't even have to use the Trev E uh, hotspot modification. It's totally built in natively, so that makes things a whole lot easier. So something else that's included here is the multi-window control. We can add applications. Applications that we add will show up in the edit screen. So we'll just throw one in there just for giggles. Now we'll pull up our multi-window and go to edit. And I think it may require a reboot. Let's see here. Oh no, we'll have to kill the settings. Now we should be able to pull it up. And there it is. Now we can simply drop that into our multi-window. So potentially you could add every application that's on your phone into your multi-window, uh, which is pretty impressive. So there were a couple of UI enhancements that I noticed right off the bat. We have our battery percentage meter here, which is accurate 1% battery meter. And then we have uh, a mean bean drop down 
in our notifications, which is cool. And then, of course, we have our power toggles. The way that you can adjust your power toggles is by going into power toggle settings. Uh, you have a home screen widget here that you can activate. You can choose to enable or disable those. And once they're enabled, you can configure them here. So there's all kinds of different settings here. Um, you can change the number of rows. You can set the style. You can change a background feel of your color. You can change the background feel, your color of choice. Like so. You can add toggles and remove toggles. You see there's several to choose from. Like so. So you have other settings here. Uh, battery controls, brightness controls, volume controls, and other controls. Some other really useful features that are included here is call recording. And you can long press power to skip through music tracks like say you're driving down the road and you're playing uh, your favorite mp3, your telephone is turned off, screens off, whatever, uh, and you need to skip the track. But you don't want to wake up the device and uh, fumble around with it while you're driving or whatever. You can simply skip tracks by pressing the power button. In the pull down you'll notice a few things have been removed which were uh, quite annoying. Quick settings, brightness slider, and uh, GPS status, things like that have all been removed here, so those are not going to be annoying you anymore, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's removed the AM and PM from the status bar. Uh, there's a few other settings that are really nice. There's the ability to, to disable screen wake with incoming me text messages. In this ROM, you'll have a constant ringtone volume uh, thanks to the disabling of the ring fate. There's configurable SD card read ahead which is going to speed things up whenever you're accessing things from your SD card. Now for some of those settings such as the uh, no screen wake with text messaging, the ringer fade, and the AM PM settings, uh, as well as zero wake lag and SD card read ahead, those settings can be changed via an aroma installer. So we'll get to that whenever we get to the installation of the ROM. But where it's found is under SD card, mean bean, and then you'll see that there. You would install this file uh, during recovery, so when you're in twerp, after you've installed the ROM, you will go ahead and flash this file as well. That brings up the aroma installer. We'll get to that here in just a minute. So some other applications that have been included here, the WTSP weather widget. Uh, when I pull that down, there is a weather widget there. Um, that's included. The S Pen board switcher is also included, which allows you to auto switch the keyboard with the S Pen. The application Wi-Fi Tether is included in case you don't want to use the native hotspot. ES File Explorer is also included. Other than that, this is basically uh, TouchWiz with all the functionality. One reason that I like running TouchWiz ROMs uh, is for the one-handed use, and also all the S Pen functionality is there on my Galaxy Note 2. And you couldn't ask for a faster ROM. This ROM is just super fast with no lag. And uh, it just performs very well, and I've had excellent battery life. So we'll go ahead and get to the installation of the ROM. Since G apps are included, you won't have to download those separately. You just need to make sure that you're unlocked, rooted, with custom recovery installed. We'll go ahead and boot into custom recovery. So this ROM does come with a full reboot power menu, uh, so we can restart to recovery directly from there. If you don't currently have a ROM installed to get to recovery, you'll hit volume up plus home plus power. That will boot you into recovery. So you'll hold them all together until, of course, you're booted into recovery. So from here, we're going to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, Davit cache, swipe to wipe. Then we'll install the mean bean and swipe to wipe. Give that a few minutes. When that's all finished, uh, we'll go to install mean bean and sticky settings this should launch the aroma installer and here we can modify uh, those few settings that we talked about earlier so you can modify the wake screen with incoming text messages uh, either yes or no start the ring with the faded soft ring yes or no it's off by default display am pm on the clock status bar yes or no it's also off by default do you want stock toggles in the notifications Yes or no, it's off by default as well. And eliminate screen on wake lag. I suggest yes, which is what it comes with by default. 
set SD card, read ahead, and you can set whatever you like here as well. Click next to start the installation. Give it a minute or two to install. And then we'll reboot. This ROM comes with a custom boot animation and a custom boot logo, which I'll show you guys. So go ahead and reboot the system. So this is one of the cleanest stock ROMs available for the Galaxy Note 2 on Verizon. Uh, big shout outs to Mikey XDA for providing us with this ROM. He's adding stuff all the time, so be sure to check your over-the-air update application for new updates to this ROM. And that has been it for Mean Bean for the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on this device and many other devices that I cover. Uh, thanks guys for watching. God bless. See you in the next one.